Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Compute Service enables you to create and launch compute instances in the cloud. These instances can be either bare metal, where an entire server is at your disposal, or virtual, where your instance is an isolated operating system environment running on a server that also hosts other virtual machines. After logging into your Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Tenancy, click Compute on the console. If Instances is not selected, click it to view the Instances page. Compartments are logical containers in which you can organize and isolate cloud resources. In this video, we'll create the Compute Instance in the root compartment. Choose the compartment in which to create your instance, and then click the Launch Instance button. This opens the Launch Instance form, where you specify the attributes for your instance. Enter a name for the instance. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure is hosted in regions, which are localized geographic areas. Each region contains three availability domains, which are isolated and fault-tolerant data centers that can be used to ensure high availability. Select the availability domain in which you want to run the instance. Choose an operating system image to use. This can be an Oracle provided image, of which there are multiple Linux and Windows options, or you can choose a custom image that you created. The shape of an instance determines the number of CPUs, the amount of memory, and how much local storage an instance will have. Shape types with names that start with VM are virtual machines, while shape types with names that start with BM are bare metal instances. Choose the appropriate shape for your virtual machine instance. Select the virtual cloud network for the instance. This is a software-defined version of a traditional on-premises network in the cloud. It includes subnets, root tables, and gateways in which your instances run. You must create a virtual cloud network in the compartment before you can launch an instance. Choose the subnet to which to attach the instance. Ensure that a signed public IP address is selected if you want the instance to be publicly accessible. You can optionally specify values for a private IP address, host name, and fully qualified domain name. If your instance uses SSH keys to authenticate connections, for example, most Linux configurations, either click Browse, select your public key file, then click Open, or click Paste SSH keys and copy and paste your public key into the key field. After reviewing your configuration choices, click the Launch Instance button to start your instance. While the instance is being created, its status is provisioning. This status changes to running when the instance is fully operational. You can view additional information about the instance on the Instance Details page, including the instance's public IP address, which you can use to connect to the instance. You can also choose to stop, reboot, or terminate the instance from the Instance Details page.